Olive tree is the most important tree in Palestine due to its historical, cultural, religious, economic, and political values. Olive trees cover around 39% of cultivated area in Palestine, with a total area of 436,883 dunams. Olives and their oil have major contributions in the Palestinian economy. It contributes around 15% to the agricultural income and about 5% of the GDP. Despite the significant contributions of the olive oil sector in the economic and social development of Palestine, it is becoming a source of serious environmental problems to which urgent solutions have to be addressed. For the post-harvest process, 90% of olives produced in the West Bank are processed in 254 mills to make oils. These mills, most of which are fully automatic or traditional and half-automatic, are located as follows. 13.77% of mills are located in Tulkarim, 6.69% are in Kalkilia, 9.44% are in Salfit, 1.57% are in Jerusalem, 12.99% are in Ramallah and Albira, 22.83% are in Janin and Tubas, 19.68% are in Nablus, 9.84% are in Hebron, 3.14% are in Bethlehem. Olive mills generate large amounts of wastewater, from 1.2 to 1.8 meters cubed per ton of processed olives. That at the amount is not treated, exacerbates water availability and problems. Olive mill wastewater is disposed untreated into the sewage network, cesspits, or dumped in open areas without any consideration to its environmental impact on the groundwater surface water, or land. Similarly, large amounts of olive mill solid waste are accumulated during harvest season, discarded on neighboring lands or dump sites, or used as fuel. These practices are not unique to the olive oil industry, but the most common route to waste disposal in the region. Indeed, the West Bank lacks from a comprehensive waste collection and disposal system in line with environmental and health standards. Finding effective treatment methods for the influence of olive industry should be a high-priority research topic for universities and scientific institutes in Palestine.